Here's the latest on heavy rainfall and possible severe weather for today. We're looking at dangerous flooding continuing this morning. If you encounter water over a roadway, do not drive through it because most flooded deaths occur in vehicles when they're trying to drive through flooded roadways. As far as the flooding goes, the highest rainfall estimates are across Floyd County where maybe there could have been up to 11 inches of rain. And we saw four to six inches across parts of southeast Minnesota, in Vernon County, in Clark County, in Wisconsin. As far as today, we're looking at heavy rain possible this morning. There may be a strong to severe storm this afternoon. As far as the impacts go, we expect flooding to be ongoing. There could be some potential for more mudslides, especially in the terrain areas. There could be some isolated hail and maybe some isolated wind damage this afternoon. As far as timing goes, we're looking at flash flooding mainly this morning. There might be an isolated strong to severe storm this afternoon. And we expect river flooding to continue into the weekend. As far as our severe threat goes, we're looking at maybe some strong to severe storms this afternoon. And that'd be mainly across southeast Minnesota northeast Iowa, and along the river in western Wisconsin. There could be some hail and maybe some damaging winds with these storms. The greatest threat looks to be this afternoon, and there's a low confidence that this will occur. As far as additional rainfall, we expect up to two inches possible across northeast Iowa, maybe up to an inch across southeast Minnesota, and south of Interstate 90 in western Wisconsin. Meanwhile, north of Interstate 90, we're looking at maybe up to a half inch of rain. The threats continue to be flash flooding and also river flooding. The heaviest rain is expected this morning, and there's high confidence that we will see this rainfall. As a result, the flash flood watch continues through today. As far as uh, what we expect for the next um, 24 hours or so, we expect flooding to continue. We expect the river flooding to continue right through the weekend and possibly into early next week. There could be maybe some strong to severe storms this afternoon. As far as impacts go, we expect the flooding to be ongoing, maybe some mudslides, and possibly some isolated hail and some damaging winds this afternoon. And that would be primarily west of the Mississippi. Stay weather aware into the weekend. Have multiple sources to receive weather information.